All right, we move further from here. Residents of the Indian capital continue to reel under the pollution crisis. This has the central and state authorities scramble to implement course correction measures. The air quality in Delhi remains at worrying levels. Another day on Wednesday morning, visibility remained low as a thick layer of smog engulfed the capital. According to Central Pollution Control Board, Delhi's average AQI was at 422 at 6 a.m. this morning. And this is a really grave situation here because I think everyone we know is either falling ill or is clearing their throat. I myself have been clearing my throat since the morning, but this is the reality at this point. While uh, it's near 350 in neighboring Noida and Ghaziabad districts, that's the AQI in those areas, but Delhi is definitely seeing uh, another hazy morning. Most monitoring stations in the national capital showed air quality levels in the severe to severe plus categories. The worst AQI was recorded at the Mundaka station at 463. The AQI index at Anand Vihar station was recorded at 454, while it was 457 at Ashok Vihar monitoring stations. And a lot of the monitoring stations are showing 500 because they do not read beyond 500. Mm. So you really don't know what the actual figure really is. RAV4 restrictions remain intact in Delhi, prohibiting commercial construction and the entry of trucks, with an exception for those carrying essential items or using clean fuel. However, Delhi's odd-even rule with respect to private vehicles has not been implemented yet. Elephant. Delhi's Environment Minister Gopal Rai said that the government has not ruled out the possibility of implementing the odd-even rule. However, the state will take decision based on experts' advice and requirements in the coming days. The government has directed hospitals in Delhi to set up special teams to deal with cases of respiratory illness. As per India's weather department, the combination of dense fog in Punjab, Haryana and Delhi in addition to the slow northwest winds is reason pollutants remain trapped in the air. Union Health Secretary has issued an advisory for all residents, especially vulnerable groups like children, elderly and people with respiratory issues to take special care.